I just want to quickly show you before I get into this assignment uh, an example of a negative indentation here at minus 2 and a negative indentation here at minus 2. And when I wasn't happy with the layout and I wanted everything else to be indented further to the right, it was just easier for me to take that line and control click this line and pull them over to the left rather than toying with everything else. Okay, so in this exercise, you are going to place your insertion point at the end of the purple sample sentence right here. You're going to put it there before the period, and you are going to uh, put a source in and a citation. Uh, so the way that we do that is we go to References, and we go to Insert Citation, and we add a new source. And this uh, shows up here, and we're going to move it over here so we can see what we're doing. Show all the bibliography fields, and we're going to fill this out, and I will do that and return. Once this is filled out as such, you can click OK, and you will see in parentheses or brackets this is our citation. So then we have the work cited uh, page on page two. And I have some other citations in here, uh, but we've just added a third one on here. So we need to update that work cited page. And it tells you. Uh, I mean, I usually just come here, click this, and update, and there it comes in. Just notice that it doesn't come in in perfect MLA specifications, which would be Times New Roman, and it would be 11 points. And it would be all double-spaced with no paragraph spacing at all. And that would be correct. Uh, so you just really have to click in the top there and then click. And click in there and update. And if you want to delete that, you can click these three little dots to select everything and press the delete key. Actually, even though those are the instructions I have, once you click the three dots to select everything and you press the delete key, it doesn't all quite go away. Click the three dots again and hit delete again and it will be gone.